So everything is ready and we can now start the installation wizard. We click start, company name, zip code. This information is important since it will be also used if you have real-time shipping calculations and stuff like that. We continue. Here we have the currency sign, decimal sign, date format, month first. Here we select if you want to control stock before adding to the cart, minimum purchase amount. Of course, all the things you can modify later as well. So we leave everything by default. We go to payments. Uh, this store is going to accept payments, so we enter the commerces, PayPal account, commerces.com. We're going to accept PayPal payments in US dollars. Uh, we're going to use credit card uh, with offline payments as well. So we leave yes, we select all the cards, and we are going to accept also checks. Yes, please send your check to 8345 Norway 66th Street. Uh, rename commerces. We don't want wire transfer, so we just continue. And then, if you have a digital goods store, you bypass shipping calculation. In this case, we're going to use $5 for domestic and $15 for international. And of course, after you can uh, provide uh, more detailed calculations, like uh, if you want to um, provide certain fee for your state, and uh, you can also use uh, real-time shipping calculations with the power pack. We place like 2% taxes, we continue. Here we're going to fill the email information. So we place mail.commerces.com, site.commerces.com, site.commerces.com. We select Gmail, which is a pretty common email component. If you're not sure about the component, just leave known. In this case, we put this. And we are going to send HTML emails. Security password, one, two, three, four, five, six, which is not really secure, but it will work for this case. We don't have a power pack, but uh, the recommendation is to get the power pack since you're going to uh, obtain a lot of advanced features that will help you to sell better. But in this case, we don't have the power pack and it's not required. So we continue. Uh, this simple screen is if you want to make additional earnings by displaying ads. We're not going to use uh, these two at this point, so we click no thanks. And everything is ready. Uh, a test product has been added to the store, so we can just test the store. And a new window will appear. We have everything here. So the company name. Here we have the category. Here we have it, an item. We can add the item and we can make a test checkout. This is a default customer that is entered to the database. Uh, we select checks or credit cards or PayPal. We select credit cards, continue. Uh, if you have SSL installed certification, you can set that in settings and this screen will be secure. In this case, it's just a demo and we'll leave it like that. So we pay with Visa. This information is pre-filled since the store is in demo mode right now. We confirm and everything is there. We have an order with credit card payments and everything in just a few minutes. If you need assistance, of course, you can contact us at commerces.com. Thank you very much for your attention.